poking myself in the back with this. Hi, welcome. Okay, here's the deal. I thought that if my office space was cuter, I would be more productive. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I sacrificed my workspace for like three weeks in order to make it more me and cute. So first I'll do the before tour and why I thought I needed an upgrade. Okay, so this is the before and a lot of work needs to get done for one. This is a 2012 Mac Mini that I got as a hand-me-down from my boyfriend. It worked really good for me for a few years. No, it doesn't. It shuts down every day. The monitor, the speakers, the keyboard, and the chair were all also hand-me-downs. Same with the mouse. I always have like little pieces of trash or just stuff that doesn't need to be or stuff that just doesn't need to be at my desk, at my desk. The chair is pretty old too. I tried to put this over it to make it more me, but I just don't like this chair that much. I keep getting stuff caught in it. It's kind of old. It gets dusty really fast. I have this little station where I charge my iPad and my headphones. I actually really love my headphones. And a little rug underneath. I don't like that much. And then my cord management is awful. My cord management is literally scary. So there's a lot to improve upon. First, this is, I don't know how much I can. Ch First thing I got in from Amazon came before my laptop is my laptop stand. I thought this would be a good addition, make things nice, easy, organized. I have to put it together. Came like this. My wireless keyboard is here, and it's actually like 10 days earlier than it was supposed to be. But that's fine because my laptop is also getting here earlier. Woo! Ah! Oh, she's so pretty. So I came with a mouse. I've heard the mouse isn't that good, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll just keep the mouse that I do have. It's kind of cute though, and it matches, but I mostly just cared about this. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I might, yeah, so my plan is that I will have my laptop on the stand and I will have this down for better posture and stuff, and I can just type on this while my laptop's on the stand. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. My desk is coming along. My mother's Christmas present to me was a shopping trip to Ikea with her, so I put together a list of things that I needed, including an office chair, a lac shelf in white, a bed for cappuccino, a cute white cart, the what, however you're gonna say that, and anything else that I saw in the store that made me think, oh, cute. Unfortunately, upon that trip, I figured out that they were out of the lac shelf and the office chair that I wanted. But fortunately, a nice Swedish lady was selling the exact chair that I wanted on OfferUp already put together unused. The fact that she had a Swedish accent made it feel like I was getting the very authentic IKEA experience buying it from her. And then I found a similar white floating shelf on Amazon with really good reviews. And okay, I'm actually really shocked because I know a lot of people get their shelves from IKEA, but my IKEA has been sold out for months. And tell me why Home Depot, Target, Amazon, and Lowe's all have like a bunch of white shelves with really bad reviews or people are like, don't get this, it falls apart or it can't hold like a singular book. So I'll link this one down below in case you guys are looking for a shelf and your Ikea is also sold out because this is one of the only ones I found with like actually good reviews. I was able to put this shelf up super easy all by myself. I just needed some power tools, a level, and a boyfriend who actually did all the work. Thank you, Andrew, I love you. Can I have a pencil? Yes. Just mark right. Oh, are you filming? Yeah. Great. I can't wait for boys in the comments section. I'm like, he's not doing it right.
This is, by the way, not the way you're supposed to do it. Can I do something now? What? I don't know. I feel useless. Wait, what? I feel useless. <laughs> probably give this like a 5 out of 10 difficulty to put up the shelf if you've ever put anything up before. If you've never put anything up before, I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10 difficulty and advise that you find someone who has used a power tool before. <laughs> then I was able to put the cart together a lot easier. I'd probably give that like a 3 out of 10 difficulty. All I really needed was the tools that it came with and a little bit more support from Cappuccino. I actually did end up messing up because the middle shelf, they don't give you an indicator, unless I just didn't read the instructions, they just don't give you an indicator of where to put it. So I ended up putting it really, really low and I had to take it all apart and put the shelf a little bit higher. I had 45 minutes in between my Zoom classes for school and it took me every last second to finish but I also did refuse to read the instructions for the first like 10 minutes of putting that together. Also the thing that I'm wearing in the video is my comfy. If you've been asking yourself should I get a comfy, my answer to you is 100% yes. It is my favorite thing on earth. I literally only take it off when I need to wash it. Yes, I have worn it out in public. I got my brand new handy dandy MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. I did a whole unboxing video on that. If you guys want to look into that, I will have it linked down below. And so far, it's been a few weeks, I'm in love with it. It's so nice and a lot better. So upon getting that, I decided to pull apart my desk, clean everything off. The floor was kind of messy. Um, the underneath of my desk was disgusting. Apparently your feet make marks if you put them up there. Just looking. Oh no, my feet make marks. You didn't know that? Nasty. Originally, I was going to keep the monitor and hook up my MacBook Pro to the monitor and use the speakers that I used to have, but I realized that my new display is 10 times better than the old monitor I had, so I prefer to just keep it on the stand, and I will be donating the monitor and the speakers to someone in my family who wants them. So if anyone is concerned, Daisy already has a really nice bed in the corner of the office, but so she doesn't feel excluded. I got her this. Did you just lick that? Why would you lick that? After all of the base stuff, my MacBook, my shelf and all that were in and everything was cleaned, I just added the finishing touches of other things that I got from Ikea.
So here is my fully put together little office space in my little corner of the office. To this side I have my IKEA cart, big fan of the three compartments. In the top I have my notebook that I use for class every day. This specific one was designed by Lauren Doan. When I'm not using my headphones, I keep them here. These are the Sony WH-XB900N, whatever that means. Really like them though. I also keep sticky notes and these two vases from Ikea. I have pens, pencils, and sharpies in the little one. And nothing in the big one. I might add flowers or something later, maybe. The middle shelf is just where I keep my backpack, which I don't even know if I'll ever use again because I'm currently still on online Zoom classes and I think by the time that we're in person again I will have graduated, but it's cute there. I like keeping it in the middle shelf. And then the bottom shelf is miscellaneous, like the mouse that I'm not using right now, little charging boxes and cords and anything else that I don't want out in the open but I probably will need. My cord management still isn't great, but now I only have my laptop charger and my iPad charger on the power strip. I ended up getting Cappuccino's bed from Target. This is a Boots and Barkley bed. It's really cute. It took him like a full week to want to use it though because I guess he didn't like the smell of it so he refused to go near it, but now I think he likes it. This is the chair I got from the Swedish lady on OfferUp. I'd say if it's out of Ikea, try searching up Orfial. on OfferUp because there were a few others when I looked. Then I kept my desk itself. It was a hand-me-down, but I believe it was originally from Ikea. My mouse pad is just from Staples, and I actually ended up liking the mouse that came with the keyboard. If you were wondering what the keyboard sounds like, here it is. My laptop screensaver is a still from the movie Spirited Away. And as much as I love this laptop, it only has two ports, so I got an adapter from Staples, and I keep that with my external hard drive just under my stand. I like my keyboard and computer stand setup. I really enjoy having that because I think it helps my posture. Usually at the computer, I sit like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Now I sit a little better than that. And it's just cute and it makes me happy seeing both of them together. I still have my little dead plant in the corner, but I like having him there. He's just, if you're wondering, he's eucalyptus. That was like already dead when I put it in the jar in an old kombucha bottle. It was just easy and he doesn't look that dead, so I thought it'd be fun to have an actual real plant. But you can't completely tell he's dead, at least in my head. For my iPad, I just keep it on the side of my desk in its little case. It's the magic keyboard case. Then up on my shelf, I have some of the books I just finished reading. The little fake not dead plants are from Ikea. This little dude, I think his name is Moomin, he's like a little Swedish guy, which is perfect because pretty much everything on my desk is from Ikea or Swedish themed, I guess. But I just found that picture on Pinterest and I decided to paint it when I was with my friend one day. These little round mirrors are also from Ikea and that has been my office tour. I heard you say I'm not the baddest, but you lie. It ain't my fault.